now with this banks failing and things like that. What impact do you think that these bank failures uh, and everything that's happening with interest rates going up, what impact do you think that it will have on the vacation rental? What have you seen in the past and what do you project for the future? Yeah, so it's interesting. Like, you know, obviously none of us have a crystal ball, but but things go up and things go down on a regular basis. I've been through three now major crack, like major corrections in markets. Markets do need to correct. We are due for a correction, frankly, in the real estate game. We've been on an upswing for, you know, a, a long time and it, it is due for a correction. And so you anticipate this as investors, right? One thing with specifically with short-term rentals, the last two or three years, it was like having toilet paper during COVID. Everybody with a short-term rental was making money. That was never going to sustain, right? Any asset class that you really look at that is a mainstream asset that is mature and it's going to be around for the long time, you know, you're going to have properties that make money. You're going to have regions that make money. You're going to have areas that, that do well, and you're going to have areas that struggle, right? And so you have to be able to understand that you have to buy quality assets in quality areas and be able to underwrite them for the long term, right? We're playing a long term game. Yes. And so it's it's not this is not speculative at this stage. It has been very speculative for a lot of people the last couple of years and anything that it has been the shiny object in real estate for the last three or four years. Right. And, you know, and COVID really highlighted that, you know, the the and, and really accelerated, frankly, the progress and the maturity of the short term rental game. But now we have to look at it as, OK, this is. This is a mature asset. It's a it's a mainstream asset. And just like every mainstream asset, the top 20 percent of the market typically makes 80 percent of the money. And so you have to be able to buy quality. You have to be able to look at it for the long term. You should not be buying it speculatively. And, you know, because there are going to be challenges and those challenges should not be ignored. You know, when you have financial things that are happening, it, you know, do the bank failures lead to a major financial crisis? Is it just a blip? What does that look like? We know we've got inflation that we're dealing with for probably the foreseeable future, right? Rates have skyrocketed. We're, you know, we're March, March 2023. We've been seeing rate heights since for almost a year now. They started about June of last year in 2020 or 2022. And so we've had to deal with that. What that means is you should, you have to know your numbers. You have to make sure you understand the underwriting. 